Solicitor General Liz Murrell uh, did a, a very convincing job. Um, Justice Alito and Justice Kavanaugh uh, seemed to be very supportive. The other ones were mostly silent. But from the questioning, it seems that it's going to come down to how Justice Roberts um, goes. Uh, as we expected, he'll be the swing vote. Uh, but because he didn't really ask too many questions, it's difficult to read him. So, you know, we're just going to have to wait till the end of June. He was able to ask a, a couple of questions, but they were kind of neutral, you know, trying to get some clarifications. Uh, he, did, he didn't seem to be arguing uh, like um, Justice Alito and Justice Kavanaugh both came up with strong scenarios as to why the law is constitutional and the other side couldn't answer them. Um, and Justice Roberts just would ask, you know, kind of technical questions. Where, so he didn't tip his hand, put it that the way. The press club okay. event was beautiful. But it was um, very strong woman, strong woman after strong woman, um, all talking about how it is pro-life to be pro-woman because both women and children are entitled to dignity and respect and protection. We are all made in the image and likeness of God. And women sometimes find themselves in complicated situations um, where they make a bad decision about an abortion or they are abandoned into the abortion or they are coerced into the abortion. And as long as it is uh, forced upon us by the U.S. Supreme Court, um, you know, as people that respect life, we need to respect and protect both women and children. And that's what the Louisiana law does.